I was in uh, Venezuela last May for the re-election of President Maduro. There was actually an election. Uh, he was not a dictator. Nine million people voted. Maduro received six million votes. There were more than 150 international election observers, and they unanimously came out and said that it met international standards for democracy, there was no fraud, and Maduro was legitimately elected. And comparing that to Guaido, Guaido won second place in the National Assembly election, 24 percent of the vote in the second smallest state with a tiny political party. He got in because the top two get in. Uh, and so he got in because? The top two uh, winners, the top two in the, in the race, get into the legislature. So he got in, barely got into the legislature from a tiny state with a tiny party, and then he was elevated by Trump, Trump and Pence to be the president. Uh, he, he was unknown How? by most... Well, the, the night before, well, it was a process actually that began in January at the OAS. They had multiple meetings to try to resolve this. Leopold Lopez was on from video conference. They've been working on this for early, it's that long. And finally, they decided on, on Guaido as their guy. And uh, the night before that uh, Guaido self-appointed, Michael Pence called him, said, we're behind you if you do it. The, as soon as, Mike, as, soon as uh, Guaido announced, Trump immediately endorsed him got the right-wing governments in Latin America and the Western European countries to, do it, to join him. Why? Because the example of, of, uh, of, of an independent Venezuela is a powerful example that they don't want to see.